Well, happening now, surging flood waters from North Alabama are rushing south into the Tinsaw River in Baldwin County. Experts say the effects of the flood waters will be long term. NBC 15's James Gordon is following conditions along the river. Depending on where you live on the Tensaw, all this flooding could be more of an inconvenience than an emergency. These folks are going back and forth to their homes to find whatever they can and bring it back to higher ground. It's been a busy week and is expected to be an even busier weekend for people who have interests along the Tensaw. Charlie Stagner makes the Lower Bryant Landing his permanent home. I mean, flooding is just part of the river life. You know, you live it and you know you're going to get it. Like in Florida, you know you're going to get a hurricane. Just when and how bad. So far, power has been cut off to more than 100 boathouses, and today people came to salvage what they could before the water gets any higher. This is going to be longer than what we are used to. It's going to be six to eight days right now is what we're estimating. The county's EMA director says others need to stay away and let property owners evacuate safely. Uh, what I encourage at night, because some of the power is cut off, you may not be able to see the roads very well. Slow down, if not, just stay away from these areas all uh, altogether. Not only is the flooding getting higher, but the currents are getting much stronger. And each day, there's more water to come. In Baldwin County, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.